Well, going green, in an effort to help you ease your pain at the pump lately, we've been reporting to you about alternative fuel vehicles, including gas electric hybrids. Up to this point, the only SUV you could buy as a hybrid was a small one. But now General Motors is offering the world's first full-size hybrid SUV. The big question is, does it deliver significant fuel and money savings over its all-gas-powered sibling? Tonight, I give you the answer. With gas prices going up almost daily, America's love affair with big trucks and SUVs is fading. Weekly fill-ups busting personal budgets. Sixty-four dollars and ten cents. About eighty-five dollars. At least sixty plus now. Quite close to seventy dollars to fill up. Consider these examples: twenty-six gallons for a Dodge Ram pickup, almost ninety-five bucks. Twenty-eight gallons for a Ford Expedition, about one hundred two dollars and 32 gallons for a Hummer H2, just over 117 bucks. Each of those vehicles averaging only 8 to about 13 or 14 miles per gallon in city driving. Beating those figures seems impossible, but is it? Enter the GMC Yukon Hybrid, a full-size SUV which General Motors claims comes without the usual full-size thirst for gas. Small now because this gas price is just ridiculous. Yes, they are. So I spent a week testing the Yukon Hybrid to see if it would make a difference at the pump. By all outward appearances, you can't tell the difference between a regular Yukon and the hybrid version, except for all the hybrid logos on the vehicle, seven total, including these door decals, which I find to be overkill. Inside, all the creature comforts you'd expect in a full-size SUV, comfortable seating for up to seven people, and flexible cargo space for shopping, carting the kids to and from soccer practice, and traveling. Under the hood, a six-liter V8, paired with the two-mode hybrid electric motors. What you typically don't expect from a vehicle like this is great gas mileage. According to the federal government's annual fuel economy guide, the Yukon Hybrid is rated at 20 miles per gallon in both city and highway driving. During my week with the vehicle, I rolled through my neighborhood, back and forth through town, and on a short road trip to and from Atlanta. My results? 19.6 mpg in the city, 19.8 on the highway. And that was under my normally energetic driving style, which isn't considered the most efficient. For the week, I drove 779 miles, consuming 41 gallons of gas. Now, by comparison, based on EPA figures, a non-hybrid Yukon with a slightly smaller engine would have burned 45 gallons of gas. And my former personal vehicle, which was the Hummer H2, would have burned a whopping 68 gallons. So all in all, things... Uh, I think, look pretty good for that hybrid. It does what they say it should do. Well, that sounds good, but how much does it cost? All right, good question there. It's $56,000, the one that I drove. Hmm. Compared to a, a similarly equipped regular hybrid, it's about six to $7,000 more, so there is a premium. But the government gives you some of that back. A $2,200 tax break is available, and then the rest of it you make back over your savings in gas. Well, another question you get a lot about hybrid cars is, do you have to charge it overnight? And if it is, do you, I mean, does the battery die? What, what happens there? Yeah, a few months ago we reported on, on plug-in hybrid mm -hmm. technology. That is not yet available on the open market. This one, you do not have to plug in. You don't have to charge anything. You don't have to worry about the batteries dying. It's a self-charging unit. You, it's got a little monitor in there that really okay. shows you when you're braking, it charges the batteries. If you're coasting downhill, it's charging the batteries. So you really don't have to worry about that, and it lets you know everything. It's really simple. You would not know the difference between driving this thing, except for the fact that it gets really quiet when you hit a stoplight. And when you're kind of driving at a slow speed, like through a parking lot, in the drive through at a, at a restaurant, uh -huh. you know, a fast food restaurant, or in your neighborhood below certain speeds, the engine shuts off and it runs on battery power. It sounds like an oversized golf cart. Wow. Well, I can't wait till hybrids hit the trader because that's where the <laughs> <laughs> Listen, folks, if you'd like some more information on hybrids and you want to find out more about this uh, GMC Yukon hybrid, the uh, Chevy Tahoe is an identical truck to it. It's the same thing. I took some notes on my week in the truck. You can read those notes if you visit our website, wach.com. It is coverage you can click on that you can go green by as well.